Hey guys, we're going to do an instructional video today and um, here's a few things that we're going to use. I'm going to move my, well, actually I'm going to leave my kettle there. I'm doing this on my stove, it's got the best lighting. You'll notice I got the old Weller at 635 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm going to move that just like that. And I've got the old, uh, the old soldering tip here is good to go. And we're going to change out a battery the proper way. Now, I might not be able to show you guys this on camera um, just because I, I probably need room to position myself. So we have a copy here of Pokemon Red and the battery's dead, so I can't save. That's how you know. So a um, few things that I also have around. I have a flux pen, and what I'm going to do with this is basically just coat the sides of the battery that I'm going to be replacing. I have some lovely batteries here with a solder tip, a solder tip with a uh, tab. Let's just get one of these out of here. And uh, I've also got, uh, I don't know if you can actually make this out, it is a, what does that say? Next? Can you read that? NEX USA number six. It's basically a, a security bit that will allow me to remove that screw, okay? I also have a desoldering uh, pump that I can just uh, schlunk, but I don't think I'm going to use this. And of course, I've just got some generic solder here. So um, first things first, let's go ahead and take out this, uh, this little screw. So... Like I said, I don't know how this is going to come out. I'm not looking at the viewfinder right now. Okay, so we got our screw. I'm going to put that in the corner. Now, if you don't know Game Boy games, they actually, the cover slides down. And then it opens like so. Okay. That battery, I think, has been changed already. Because if you look inside, I don't know if that's the default battery. Anyways, we're just going to... Slide this out, I'm going to take these and move them aside, and I'm going to teach you guys how you can tell what's what. Oh, let's see if this actually focuses. Come on. Okay, see where my thumb is? It says B, well it's basically battery, I, I don't know if you can make that out, it's CR2025. This is a CR2025. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the polarity to find out um, which side is positive and which side is negative. And then we're just going to copy that. So all I'm going to do is desolder that and that. And just basically, I'm just going to heat underneath this is going to be a little piece of metal. I'm just going to heat it till it melts and pop that off. And then heat that side till it melts and pop it off. Now, I'm going to attempt to do this on camera. If it doesn't work, I'm just going to edit this out. Okay, I got one side out, you can see right there, I'm just going to flip this around and get the other side. There we go. Alright. So, I know you guys probably didn't see anything. Um, so let's just drop that back down, turn it around, and now I'm back behind the viewfinder again. So let's see if I can put this up to the camera. Okay, so basically all I did was I desoldered that. I'm going to leave it in the exact position it was. And you can see it's a little bit like messy. It's like clumpy there, and it's clumpy here. 
Okay, and that's good. That's fine because all I want to do is essentially I'm going to match this and I simply want to remelt that solder and sort of slide this in there and then do the exact same thing on this side over here. It doesn't require like any soldering skills really at all and you've got a huge clump there and a huge clump there. Now I mean worst case scenario I will use some additional solder and um, and just you know put a little bit more on these two uh, plates there. So anyways let me take this off camera so I can see it and it doesn't sell me anything so I'm going to take this battery and see if I can see the polarity anywhere. Okay, so the bottom was the plus and the top is the negative, okay? I don't know if you'll be able to see this. Yeah, you can see it there. See, it says plus three uh, volts and over here you don't see anything at all. So we're going to look on this side and if you notice, look at that it's the plus okay so it's the exact same sort of uh, way we don't need to do anything at all it's like pretty much the exact same battery so we're just gonna put it oops sorry we're gonna put it exactly the way it was okay so I'm gonna solder in this and I'm gonna solder in that exactly the way it was and uh, and we'll be good to go again if this doesn't work I'm gonna be quiet if this doesn't work, uh, obviously I'm not going to uh, show it on camera, I'll show it off camera, I'll just edit this section. So I'm going to first, essentially, take uh, this and I'm just going to coat it uh, ever so slightly. I don't know if this is even, you're going to see this on the camera. Okay. Okay, so we're good. I got some uh, flux on there. And now uh, here we go. Let's make sure we line this up properly. And the plus and the negative. Okie dokie. Okay, and so basically here we go. I don't, again, I don't know how this is going to appear. I had to add a little bit more solder to the top there. It got a little discolored in the in the moving around, and then we got a little. Um, I put a little additional solder over there. Uh, the board looks good. Everything looks good. We're gonna uh, boot this up and just see if it saves. Obviously, we're good to go. So let's do that. Let's go ahead, I'm just going to take this off camera and see. Yeah, it looks good. There's no bubbling on the board or anything like that. So, let's see. Go ahead and... Uh, that's the front. So, let's go put this in the back. It goes like that. You have to find where the little doohickey is. Slide it up. And uh, where did I put the little bit? All right. All right. So, game's closed. Let's go ahead and get a 3DS. Not a 3DS, sorry. Let's go ahead and get a Game Boy Advance here. Slide that in. Turn it on. And if it allows us to save, we will be good to go. Let's just call them A. Yep. 
His name is B. All right. Come on. Okay. Save game, okay? Close. If it says continue, we're in business. And it says continue. Can you see that? So that's it, guys. That was all I did for player A, but that's it. So that's the way you... Uh, change the battery on a Game Boy Advance game and this technique actually works for absolutely all the old NES games, SNES games, anything like that. You saw how easy it is. Simply two little solder points, you just melt them down just a tad, remove the battery, slide in another battery, do it, and you're good to go. Alright guys, if you have any questions, the specifics will be in the description in terms of like the bit that you need, the battery you need, things of that nature. Alright guys, I hope you found this informative, and I will see you all in the next video.